for our next lesson, let's try to take a look at this example. A frog leaps two-thirds of the previous jump. If the frog's first leap is 27 centimeters, find the distance the frog has covered after five leaps. Uh, ito pong formula na ito ay applicable lang sa lahat maliban sa r equals 1. So this is your geometric series formula. Pero, ito po ay restricted to finite only. Bakit finite? Because we are looking for a certain number of terms. Okay po? So, to appreciate the formula, let's have an example. So, balikan natin si palaka. Alam natin yung given sa ating palaka. Ang first term ay 27 cm. Ang common ratio ay 2 thirds. At ang ating n, sabi 5 lips o 5 lang na pagtalon. So, since we already have our formula, the next thing that we have to do is to substitute. So, substitute tayo. We have there S sub n. So, S sub 5 equals, ano nga daw yung first term natin? That is 27. Times 1 minus your R, 2 thirds, raised to N, ang N natin ay 5. All over 1 minus R. So that is 1 minus 2 thirds. O ayan, tarantahin tayo kapag ka, ano na po, na fraction na po. So wag po kayong matakot gumamit ng calculator. Ayan, kung hindi po tayo sanay, but since this is a fraction, gamitin pa rin po natin yung pagka-fraction niya para hindi po tayo mahirapan mamaya. So, dito po meron tayong S sub 5 equals, so lagay ko pa rin po dyan 27 muna. Sa loob po kasi merong fraction, so kaya ko po yung i-multiply. So, that is 1 minus 2 thirds times 2 thirds times 2 thirds. So, dito po, ayan po, pwede po tayong mag 2 thirds, yan. Tapos, erase lang po natin sa 5. And you have there, 32 over 243. Yan. So, ayan. Takot na naman tayo dyan mag-subtract-subtract. Since 1 lang po yan, ang shortcut lang po dyan is 3 minus 2. Yun na po yun. So, 3 minus 2 is 1. Then, copy the denominator. 1 third. Pansinin nyo po yung nasa loob nito. Ganun din. 1 minus. So, katulad ng shortcut, subtract nyo na lang po agad natin doon. And we have there, S sub 5 is equal to 27 times 243 minus 32 is 211 over 243 all over one third. Tandaan po natin kapag whole number, meron pong invisible one. So dito po, pasisimplify ko na po agad, 27 tsaka 243. So ang 27 and 243 ay parehong divisible by 27. Ito po ay 1 na lang. And 243 divided by 27, ang sagot naman po dito ay 9 na lang. So, ang ating S sub 5 na po, ang S sub 5 natin ngayon ay 211 over 9 divided by 1 third. Ayan. So, pangit ang pagkakasulat ko, dapat nasa gitna. Ganyan. S sub 5. S sub 5. Ayan. Ganyan po. So, dito po, Ayan, balikan po natin kapag fraction divided by fraction, gawin na lang po natin yung outer, 211 times 3, which is 633. All over, nandito naman po, 9 times 1, so that is 9. Kung mapapansin nyo po, divisible pa po sila ng 3. So divide po natin ng 3, 633 3 divided by 3, so you have there 211 and si, dahil ito po, dinivide mo ng 3, ito din po, i-divide natin ng 3. So, 9 divided by 3 is 3, of course. Yan. So, dito po, ito na yung sagot. So, ayan na po yung distance ng pinagtatalon ng palaha. Pero fraction, hindi nyo po ma-appreciate. Ma so, pwede nyo na po siyang i-divide directly. So, ang ating sagot, S sub 5 is equal to 211 over 3. Or, ang estimate po kasi dito is 70... 0.33 cm. So, ganun na po kalayo yung naitalon ng ating frog. Next, let's have another problem. Find the sum of the first six terms of the sequence 3, 6, 12, 24. And para makuha po natin, kailangan muna natin yung common ratio. And paano nga yung common ratio? Hanap ka ng dalawang magkasunod. So, doon na lang ako sa 6 and 3. Oh, ang common ratio pala ay times 2 lang. So, kompletuhin lang po natin to. You have there... 
times 2, which is 48, and times 2, we have there 96. Okay. So, kung ayaw mo gumamit ng formula, pwede naman. So, ang gawin mo na lang po, i-add mo lahat ng yan. So, sa, try natin i-add gamit ang calculator. So, ang sum daw po ng terms ay 189. Pero, itry natin kapag gagamit ng formula. Again, your n there is 6 terms. A sub 1 is 3. And our r, which is 2. Substitution. So, you have there, s sub 6 equals 2 times, ay sorry po, ang r natin ay 3. Times 1 minus 2 raised to 6 over 1 minus 2. Hala, magkaka-negative. Tingnan nga natin kung tatama pa rin tayo kahit magkaka-negative dyan. So, dito po, 3, 1 minus, oh, 2 raised to 6. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. So, 64. And then, sa baba po, negative 1. Solving, we have there, S sub 6 equals 3 times negative 63 over negative 1. Ayun po, negative divided by negative is positive. So, ang sagot po dito, S sub 6 is equal to 63 times 3. Nakuha po natin ang sagot na 189. Now, let's have another example. Ito na yung medyo nakakatakot, di ba? Ewan ko na lang kung mamanumanuhin nyo pa to, ha? Sum of 10 terms of the sequence, 1, 1 half, 1 fourth, o, oh, so, fraction na. Malawang, takot na kayo mag-add ng fractions, di po ba? So, tandaan natin, sa formula natin, madali lang. Kasi ang kailangan mo lang, di ba, S, we have your formula, S sub N is equal to A sub 1 times 1 minus R raised to N over 1 minus R. Ang kailangan ko lang ay A sub 1, R at N. Hindi ko nga kailangan yung last term or yung pang 10 term, hindi ko na kailangan isolve. Pag ginamit ko yung formula, malalaman ko na rin yung sagot. So, ang A sub 1 po natin dito ay 1. Ang R, if you divide, the answer there is 1 half fraction. And ang N natin ay 10. So, substitute po natin sa formula. You have there S sub 10 is equal to A sub 1 is 1 times your 1 minus R. So, that's 1 half raised to 10. Dito po yan sa loob lang ni R. Ayan. Over... 1 minus 1 half. Ayan. So, baka matakot-takot na naman tayo dahil fraction. So, dito po, 1 minus 1 half raised to 10. So, magiging ganito lang po yan. 1 minus 1 half raised to 10. Yung 2 po natin raised to 10. So, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 1, 2, 8, 2, 56, 5, 12, 1,024. So, that's 1 over 1,024 divided by 1 minus 1 half. O, hindi na kailangan ng calculator. Negative 1 half. Okay, again, ang shortcut po natin, if it is 1 minus a fraction, denominator minus numerator. So, the answer there is 1,023. Then, copy your denominator, 1,024. Okay, so, divided by 1 minus 1 half, sorry, this is positive. Yan. Divided by 1 half. Ulitin ko lang po. So, dito po, again, outer times po natin yan, that is 1,023 times 2 divided by yung inner natin, 1,024. Bakit hindi ko agad tinimes? Kasi pwede ko tong i-divide para maging 512 na lang yan. So, ang ating S sub 10 here ay 1,023 over 512. That is your sum up to 10 terms ng ating equation. Now, let's try, paano naman kapag ang R natin ay 1? Di ba bawal po gumamit dyan ng, ang R ay 1? So, let's just try this. So, S sub N, di ba, ito po yan, A sub 1. Di ba sa formula po, A sub 1 times R. Tapos, susunod A sub 1, R squared. A sub 1, R cubed. Yung R po, palitan lang natin ng 1. At tandaan, 1 times 1, 1. Times 1, times 1, times 1 is still 1. So, kung mapapansin nyo, lahat po ito magiging A sub 1 lang din. Ngayon, kung ilan man yung terms na yun, ita times mo lang dun sa first term natin. Sampulan po natin ha. The sum of the first 10 terms of 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. 
So, sa 10 terms po natin, ia-add mo lang. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 20 na po yung sagot. Ang formula lang daw po ay ito. So, kapag ang R is equal to 1, the formula is S sub N is equal to N times A sub 1. So, ilan nga po daw ang terms? 10. So, S sub 10 is equal to 10 times A sub 1 mo. First term lang ha, 2. O, di po ba nakuha rin natin ang S sub 10 equals 20? We also have a special case for our R. Kapag ang R po natin ay negative 1. Ayan. This is a special case. Kahit di mo nagamitin yung formula nating pagkahaba-haba kanina. If your R is negative 1 at ang N mo ay even, automatic the sum is 0. Kapag ang R mo naman ay negative 1 at may odd number of terms ka, automatic that your sum is A sub 1. So, paano nangyari yun? Kasi, tandaan po natin kapag negative, nag alternate yung sign. So, positive, negative, positive, negative. Kapag pinair up mo yan, o ayan, pares, 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 di po ba 0, 0, 0 yan? So, pag inad mo, 0. Paano naman kapag add? So, kapag add, yung isa, walang ka-partner. Ang lungkot, walang ka-partner yung isa. So, dito po, pare-pareho naman po yung A sub 1. Yun lang, may negative po ulit. So, 0, 0, 0. Ang may iwan, A sub 1. Again, this is for even number of terms. This is for odd number of terms. Let's have this example. What is the sum of the first 99 terms of negative 13? positive 13, negative 13, positive 13, negative 13, and so on. So, alam natin, ang n ay 99. Pare-pareho ng terms, maliban lang sa sign. So, alam mo din na ang r ay negative 1. 99 ay odd. So, dahil po odd yan, ang formula natin ay s sub n is equal to a sub 1. So, s sub 99 Ang sagot ay negative 13. Yan lang po yung first term mo. Tapos na. O, tandaan, pares-pares po yan. Pares, 0, pares, 0. So, lahat may pares maliban sa first term. Paano naman pag ganito? Oy, naku, ang dami. F what is the sum of the first 10,000 terms? 7, negative 7, 7, negative 7. O, yan. So, again, alamin nyo po yung n nyo. Sabi, 10,000. Ang R natin dito ay nagpapalit lang ng sign. So, alam natin negative 1. At alam po natin, dahil, dahil ito ay even numbers, lahat yan pag inad, di ba? 7 plus negative 7, 0. 7 plus negative 7, 0. 0. 0. S sub 10,000 ay 0. Now, let us try the infinite geometric series. A sub 1 over 1 minus R. With this, ang restriction mo po sa infinite, dapat ang value ng common ratio natin is between negative 1 to positive 1. Let's try this example. Find the sum of the infinite geometric sequence 8, 16, 32, 64, and so on, if it exists. So, paano nga uli natin malalaman kung nag -e exist yan? Dapat ang common ratio between negative 1 to positive 1. At may kita nyo po dito na ang common ratio ay 2. Therefore, the infinite geometric series does not exist. Let's try another example. Find the sum of the infinite geometric sequence 24, 12, 6, 3. Ulit po, i-check natin ang common ratio. So sa common ratio po, hanap tayo ng dalawang magkasunod and then i-divide natin. So that's 12 over 24. Simplify, it's one half. Okay, so one half, pasok po yan sa ating common ratio for the infinite geometric series. Your formula, a sub 1 over 1 minus r, substitute lang po natin ang ating a sub 1 which is 24 and r which is one half. So dito po, division of whole number and fraction. So wag po matakot, remember that a whole number has a denominator of 1. So again, outer lang po natin, i-multiply natin yung outer. So 24 times 2, which is 48. Yung denominator naman po 1 times 1. So kahit tina po natin isulat, it's still 1. 
So, the sum to infinity of the geometric sequence is 48. So, ganun lang po kasimple ang infinite geometric sequence. Last example. 1, negative 1 fourth. 1 over 16, negative 1 over 64. So, nakita po natin, nag-alternate yung sign. So, ibig sabihin, ang common ratio natin ay negative. And in here, find two consecutive numbers. Again, ang pipiliin ko lang po yung first and second term. So, you have there, r equals negative 1 fourth. Again, pasok po ulito sa ating infinite geometric series. So, pwede na po natin gamitin ang ating formula. Ang kailangan lang natin is our a sub 1 and our common ratio. So, substitute, you have there 1 over 1 minus negative 1 fourth. So, sum to infinity is 1 divided by 5 fourths. Again, para hindi tayo malito, lagyan lang po natin ang denominator na 1 yung ating numerator kanina. So, yan. So, outer po natin, 1 times 4. Yan. So, that is 4. And yung inner natin, 1 times 5 is 5. And our sum to infinity is 4 fifths.